your Chris 6 weather forecast. All right, well, we had a frontal boundary that came in over the weekend and provided some excellent conditions for the uh, Super Bowl. So hopefully everyone had a, a fantastic time and hopefully the team that you were rooting for won there. But nonetheless, we topped off at 66 degrees yesterday. And look at that right at the freezing point early in the morning. A little bit away from that record, though, of 16 said back in 1899. Wow, that was a long time ago. 87 degrees was the uh, afternoon uh, record high temperature of the day. And obviously we stayed far removed from that. No rainfall, unfortunately, across the region. And our departure from normal still above normal, but only about a half an inch and we desperately need a little bit more rainfall. Not looking like this week is going to be the week where we see some meaningful rain. Nonetheless, we're at 36 degrees right now. Calm conditions over the coastal bend. It's below freezing over in Kingsville. Falfurias you're included, but into the low 50s off in Port Aransas out at the Naval Air Station as well with calm winds across the region. So as we look at the hour by hour forecast for today, Starting off with a little bit of some cloud coverage out there this morning. Notice 62 already by 11 o'clock and we'll see plenty of afternoon sunshine as we'll get to the uh, lower 70s later on this afternoon. Very seasonal for this time of year, but notice that wind. It's going to start to creep on up southeasterly at about 10 to 20. Now, if you remember last week, we had all the sunshine. It was gorgeous out there. Light winds. It's going to be gorgeous this week. But the wind, my goodness, it is really going to be there. Kind of a turnaround there. We turn windy for tomorrow, southeasterly around uh, 20 to 25. And then on Wednesday, that looks to be the gusty uh, day for us here with sustained wind values around 25 to 35 miles an hour, gusting in excess of 40 miles an hour out there. And even on Thursday, with the arrival of our next frontal boundary, still going to be pretty gusty around 20 to 25. So keep that in mind if you have outdoor activities planned. Otherwise, upper 60s to lower 70s for our inland areas, mid to uh, upper 60s. Near the coastline. Bays will be slightly choppy, seas two to three feet. High tide is only for Bob Hall Pier and Port Aransas Jetty later on this afternoon. As far as the pollen count, we do have a moderate counts of the tree out there. Mold finally went on the low side, so that's certainly some good news. There are the cloud coverage across the region now. Frontal boundaries are up to the north at this point up in the central plains, but these are not going to be headed in our direction. It's this one up in the Pacific Northwest that we'll have to watch for. So in the meantime, mainly sunny skies for today. Notice that southeasterly flow. Still a decent amount of sunshine for tomorrow, but we'll see maybe a stray passing shower as we head into Wednesday afternoon, but there's just going to be way too much wind out there. Then our frontal boundary will move into the region and notice the opportunity for some rainfall just not really there. So unfortunately, we'll hold on to the warm and windy conditions, upper 70s all the way through Thursday. When the front comes in, we'll be cooler on Friday with uh, seasonal temperatures over the weekend.